Ambulance. Today we're here at the 7th Ward Ambulance. They have two FR conversions here in their garage today. Uh, they've been running these for how long now? Uh, we have 25,000 miles on them. I think we had them for six months. Six months. And uh, what kind of transports are you guys mainly doing? Highway, city? We, we do city and highway. Okay, so. Um, you know, our, our main trips are like to uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's uh, 70 miles one way, you know, it's 140 miles. Um, I, we just love them. We got, uh, you know, enough room in the back, standing room. Um, you know, when I'm taking my patient to Pittsburgh, uh, the LED cabinet lights are excellent in them. Uh, it's enough light, you know, I can do paperwork. It's comfortable for the patient. Um, the, uh, the ambulance is, it, it rides nice drives nice um, you know just uh, as far as Dodge we had no uh, no problems with them at all so sounds good and uh, so you guys have about 20,000 roughly 20 yeah, 25,000 miles. miles on them yeah and uh, no mechanical issues with them none none all we do is put gas in them and uh, you said something about the uh, the LED lights in the cabinets it gives you enough lights to, to do transports at night yep. with the patient yeah, it's, it's very comfortable for, you know, me as the, the medic, the provider, and then for the patient. Uh, I think it's it's enough light, but not too much uh, for them. And uh, how do you guys have Ford Transits in your fleet? We have one Ford Transit. Um, What's the biggest comparison? Really no, no comparison. The um, In the Transit, it's too tight. The cabinets aren't deep at all. Um, these cabinets are, are plenty deep enough. We get all our equipment in. Uh, in our transit, we kind of have stuff uh, smashed in there, for lack of better. Uh, like sardine, it's kind of, but in here, they're not, uh, you know, we have plenty of, of room for all our equipment in this ambulance, so. And uh, the ride is a, how would the ride compare from the Transit to the ProMaster? You know what? They're probably similar, and I compare them to like our uh, we had um, F three fifty box ambulances, and we always call them the dump trucks. <laughs> yeah, ride because they just ride so horrible, and and these are like night and day. It's a very comfortable ride. Um, whether you're in the front or a patient in the back, or and uh, how is it on the highway? Good. There's no, you know, like uh, um, top heavy, like wind right. or nothing like that. There's no sway. Okay. Yeah, you know, nothing like it. It's absolutely an excellent, excellent ambulance. And and price for us over the transit was major too. So. And you guys are in uh, Jonestown, so you guys have a lot of hills, um, you know, up and down hills. With this, with this ProMaster being front wheel drive. And the Ford Transit being rear wheel drive, how, do you see any difference in that? Yeah, yeah, uh, not a whole, not a big difference, but the Transit has a little more trouble, you know, with the rear wheel drive. Um, but really, I think between both of them, we didn't have a lot of trouble in, in the snow with them. Okay. So they they say they're gonna come out with an all wheel drive. Ford. So, Sitting with the for the ProMaster, pro ProMaster, so I think that would be an ideal uh, vehicle. Yeah. Now, do you know who's going to be doing the conversion, well, or is it I, or is it, it coming from the factory? From the factory. From the factory. Yeah. Years ago, we did the conversions, and they they were kind of crude. And would you be able to show me the inside of one absolutely. of these? Absolutely. Or steer chair with tracks? Yeah, with tracks. And it fits perfectly in there? Perfectly in there. Slides in and out. Another uh, big savings that you know, we found was uh, we used a pro track or performance load from Stryker. 
Um, we always have two guys on the back of the stretcher bringing a patient out, so as far as lifting, it's, it's not an issue. And uh, did you guys get the option where uh, it charges the stretcher while it's in the yes while it's in the ambulance? Yes. The as six as the six point uh, seatbelt harnesses. Yep. Nice safety feature. Oh yeah, and I see. I see you guys have your cabinets full. And we took this front to back. Two two cabinets out, or I guess this one out, and then we made a slide out drawer for our uh, for our heart monitor. Now, was that something that FR Conversions was able to do for you guys? They did that. This was uh, something that we uh, worked with them on to to uh, to build, and they built it for us. And was that was that done after you guys ordered it or before you guys ordered it? With the order. With the order. Yeah. Nice. So they, yeah. FR... it was kind of experimental. We were we were the first to do it. Um, so and they made it happen. Yeah, the FR conversions is pretty good for that. Absolutely, they are they're absolutely fantastic to work with. Any issues you have, you know, they'll they'll make a they'll make it right. These are the LEDs I'm talking about. Um, and that's standard. Uh, these LEDs come standard on the FR conversion cabinetry. Yeah, what's nice about the FR conversion, you know, in other ambulances yeah, that you would spec out, you know, e everything was uh, extra. You know, LEDs um, in the cabinets were, were an extra. These are these are standard. We have a a lot uh, safe for our for our uh, narcotics that we put up there. Um, and as I said about the depth of the cabinet, and there's room for that to sit back in there. That would not happen in a transit. No transit way. would only be about that deep. Um, How about the um, the leg room between the stretcher and the bench? Are you guys? It's good. You want me to show it? it it's actually there's no problem with the uh, with the leg room at all. And then you guys keep all your ALS gear up there, and it's uh, yep tucked away with the with the safety netting there. Yep. And then like everything's accessible from, you know, I can reach the monitor and patient. And... I love this ambulance. I've been in the business, I've been running ambulance for 40 years, and I say this is the best ambulance I've ever rode in. I would absolutely recommend this ambulance, this FR conversion ambulance to any company. Good to hear. If we could put that stretcher in there and see how the leg room is. Move up here, move back here. All my cabinets are right here. If the head of the structure's up, you know, we can still get in the cabinets. And how tall are you? About six foot. And you guys, there's still about three inches above your head there. Yeah. <laughs> about that. I, can, I, can, I can jump in it. I can't. I can't do that in a box game in a, in a hundred forty thousand dollar truck. I can't do that in. Yeah, and there's uh, there's still plenty of leg room between the stretcher and the bench here. I'm not the biggest guy here, but pretty close. And even the biggest guy, he has room to get around. So. All right. Well, thank you for showing us the the Dodge Pro Master. It's been a pleasure um, talking to you about it. If, if uh, feel free to call me here at Seventh Ward. If uh, if you have any questions about it, I'll you know I can I'll try to answer them. Or but FR conversions, any issues you have, they'll take care of them. Thank you.